Let's rearrange. The alternating harmonic series is a great example of a conditionally conversion series. Well, here's the alternating harmonic series. It's the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n. And what we know about this is that it converges by the alternating series test, but it doesn't converge absolutely. Because if you look at the sum of the absolute values, you're looking at the harmonic series, which diverges. And because it converges, but not absolutely, we call it conditionally convergent. And what about the negative terms? What if I just add up the negative terms? Well, here's the first dozen or so terms of the uh, alternating harmonic series. It's 1 over 1, minus a half, plus a third, minus a fourth, plus a fifth, minus a sixth, and so on. What if I just add up these negative terms, just the terms with even index? What do I get? Well, in that case, what I'm looking at is the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over 2n. Right? These are the even index terms from the alternating harmonic series. What do I get if I add up all of these numbers? Well, that's 1 half of what I get when I add up 1 over n and goes from 1 to infinity. But that's half of the harmonic series, right? That means that this diverges. What if I just look at the positive terms? Well, in that case, I'm trying to add up 1 over 1 plus a third plus a fifth plus a seventh plus a ninth. All right, I'm trying to figure out just how big is this? What's the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of the 1 over odd numbers, right? 1 over 2n minus 1. Does this converge or diverge? Well, the trouble is that 1 over 2n minus 1 is even bigger than 1 over 2n. Right? 1 over 1 is bigger than a half. A third is bigger than a fourth. A fifth is bigger than a sixth. The seventh is bigger than an eighth. So if this series diverges, then this series diverges as well. The sum of just the positive terms in the alternating harmonic series diverges. And yet somehow that series has a finite value. So in the alternating harmonic series, the negative terms diverge. The positive terms diverge. They both diverge. So what I've got is really two piles of numbers. And if I take enough from either pile, I can make a number that's as large as I would like. This presents me with the following quite strange opportunity. Here's my goal. I'm going to rearrange the terms of the alternating harmonic series to get a new series, same terms, just different order. But now my new series, when I evaluate it, will have value 17. I'll keep picking up positive terms until I exceed 17. OK, well, here we go. Here's a number line. Here's 0. Here's my goal, 17. I'm trying to pick up numbers from this pile so that I can move all the way past 17. So I can just get started, right? I pick up 1, and that gets me a little bit closer to 17. I'll pick up the next number. Here's a third. That gets me a bit closer to 17. I'll pick up a fifth. That gets me a little bit closer to 17. I'll pick up a seventh. I think that gets me even a little bit closer to 17. I mean, the trouble, of course, is that these numbers are getting smaller. But I know that this series diverges. So if I keep taking numbers from this pile, I can move as far to the right as I like. And indeed, it happens that the sum n goes from 1 to 10 to the 14th of 1 over 2n minus 1 is a bit bigger than 17. It's 17.1. So this is how I'm going to start. I'm trying to write down the same terms as the alternating harmonic series, but I want a series now that converges to 17. And this is how I'll start. I'll add 1 over 1 plus a third plus a fifth all the way to 1 over 2 times 10 to the 14th minus 1. And that'll land me just to the right of 17. And now I'll use some of the negative terms. Well, the sum of these terms from this positive pile was just about 17.1. So if I pick up a half from the negative pile, and I'm going to subtract a half now, that moves me over to about 16.6. .6. Now I'll take some of the positive terms again. Of course, I've already used up a lot of the positive terms, but there's definitely more there that I can add. Because this series diverges, I've only taken away a finite piece of it. So there's more yet to grab. It's just the numbers are, are really big, or really small, rather. But in any case, there's more terms from this positive pile to add. And if I add enough of them, I'll eventually move past 17 again. 
maybe I'll end up at, say, 17.001 or thereabouts. And some more of the negative ones. I'll pick away this quarter, I'll subtract a quarter from here, and now my 17.001 or thereabouts maybe moves over to a little bit less than 17, say uh, 16.751. And I'll just keep on doing this. I can add more positive terms again and move myself back to the other side of, uh, of 17, and I'm never going to run out, right? Because this pile of numbers is infinite. I mean, this series diverges, so I'm going to keep moving back and forth past 17. And in the limit, I'll get 17. So does that mean that this sum is equal to 17? No, no. In fact, we're going to see that this series is equal to the natural log of 2. What we're seeing here is the first glimpse of a theorem. It's a rearrangement theorem. Here's how it goes. Suppose that L is some real number. You get to pick L. And you've got a conditionally convergent series. In this case, I'm calling it the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of a sub n. So L is a real number that you picked, and you're given this conditionally convergent series. Then, that sequence a sub n can be rearranged to form a new sequence b sub n. So the b sub n sequence contains all the terms of the a sub n sequence, just in a different order. Well, that rearranged sequence b sub n, if you form a series out of it, the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of b sub n, the value of that series is L, and you picked L. What this is saying is that if you're given a conditionally convergent series, you can rearrange the terms so that that series sums to any number that you'd like. In light of this theorem, we have to be careful about how we think about series. Order matters. A series is a list of numbers to sum in a given order. It's not just a pile of numbers that you add up. The numbers are coming at you in a given order.